enough to do that. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and Liz will be back to <coughs> continue, continue the IT presentation. Uh, the next phase of the, the IT component presented as part of the capital plan is digital document management and enterprise content management. You'll recall that uh, back in March, a needs analysis was performed. Uh, we hired a uh, consultant to come in and do a town-wide needs analysis of all the municipal departments for document management. The consultant came out and issued a report. The board has seen the report, and I've made a presentation to the board going into the June town meeting. Um, as you recall, the, the key points of the report was is that not only is this digitizing our documents, what we're looking to do is automate a number of our different workflows and, and basically try to touch upon uh, automating processes that currently are being handled manually. A perfect example of that is um, items related to, to payroll and processing of change forms where you'll have a document that will potentially touch up to six hands. Um, it's inefficient, it's wasteful, it's time consuming, things get lost, uh, pay changes get delayed. The goal in all of this is to automate that processes. So again, the, the goal of the project as we go through, um, digital document management will address efficiency in our departments, allow us to do more with less, and allow us to access documents that presently we hunt around and we try to find. Yeah, it will also increase accountability within the organization and transparency. From a, from a space perspective, we're running out of space for records management. We have no space and we have public records laws that require us to save documents. Some documents are required to be saved indefinitely. Um, presently, we're going, undergoing a turnover in our staff. A lot of our senior staff are retiring. A lot of junior people are coming on board. Uh, those junior people are handicapped by the fact that they can't find things. Uh, digital document management will allow us to perform searches and critically locate documents that presently uh, cannot be found. Um, so what we would want to do is we'd want to train all of our staff. Every single um, manager, uh, clerical and administrative employee in the municipal side of town government will touch digital document management. It's that wide spread and encompassing of a project that every single employee, other than our labor people and our people who are out in the field, will have a role and be part of digital document management. It's critical that we understand that this is a totally encompassing project for the municipal side of government. As I mentioned to the board um, back in May, um, we've identified that the, the project is large and it's been broken into three different phases. And that's what the attempt is to show you on the document that's in front of you is the cost associated with that. The total cost to roll out the entire project is $355,000. As Liz will go into it, there's some additional hardware costs associated with it. But this is the cost of, of training and bringing in experts to, to uh, assist us in drafting a digital document management plan and also assisting us with, with getting our people trained and, and up and running. So uh, initially, we would envision that the project would be rolled out in phase one. The total project from start to finish would take between 15 and 24 months. So if we began the project in, uh, in January of uh, 2013, we'd anticipate we would be finished two years after that point. That's the, uh, the out, upper end. On the short side, it would take somewhere around 15 months. So um, again, the, 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 the initial phase would include uh, our project management team, which consists of myself, the town clerk, and IT. Each of those three departments would be involved in phase one, together with the park Department of Park and Recreation Department <coughs> and Human Resources. So we have identified those departments which really don't have um, uh, a major role, and I, I, I'll be criticized for this with Munis, but I think that, that the goal here is to is to have this uh, become a success, have it start off in departments that we feel um, this thing could be successful for. So what we want to do is we want to roll out the project in those <coughs> departments. Phase two would involve primarily our permit granting boards and public safety. And phase three would involve our financial departments, including finance and the treasurer. Some thought was given in terms of how we rolled it out. We realized that the finance department will be will have significant obligations related to Munis, and we thought that it was appropriate to have the project begin at the later phases for those departments. Um, overall, 
again, I mentioned to you that the, the intent of the plan is to, is to automate our processes. It's important that we do that um, for, for efficiency's sake. I've gone through and I've made a presentation to the board going into the springtime meeting with regard to the, the merits of digital document management and how it would work. And you can see that there are a number of different components <coughs> that are associated with it. Um, there are different forms that we would want to automate, and that's the, the formatter that's shown up there. There is um, um, e-code, which we've already implemented in the town clerk's office. And there are various things related to the, uh, the Novus agenda, a uh, municity, and uh, different email options that are available. So the, 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 at this point, we understand that there are some limitations between munis and um, digital document management. However, the limitation exists on Munis's side. Digital document manage management is integratable and, and would function. But at this point, uh, we would need to work closely in terms of integrating it with, with the Munis program. Yes. Mr. Bell, you as I previously have stated to you, um, I think your plan and your initiative regarding digital document management is worthwhile. I think the timing is not right. Uh, I said this in the spring, uh, my priority would be Munis. We've been spinning our wheels for the last three or four years with Munis. Uh, I don't think we invested. We probably didn't have the right project manager on initially. I'm very happy with our new project manager and the project team for Munis. Uh, I think we need to invest more money in Munis and the training, get that fully implemented. Right now we have a staff of, in our IT department of one, soon to be two, I hope, with a new hire coming on board in the near future. I think our IT department will be spread way too thin if we take on these two projects at virtually the same time. I understand you have two project teams, but essentially the burden I see is going to fall on IT. And we have Mr. Torque, and we're going to have an assistant with him, and it's still going to have a day-to-day -day IT responsibility. So quite honestly, I don't know how IT is going to implement both putting aside the cost of it. I'd like to see Munis fully implement it. And when Liz comes back to us, and she's comfortable enough that the staff is competent, proficient, and we've done our training, and they're ready to go completely with Munis, I'd be more inclined at that point in time to then consider going for document management. My fear is if we start document management, as we're trying to fully implement Munis, we're going to be spinning our wheels, and we're going to be three to four years down the road, and we have two substantial investments that we're not fully utilizing and getting all the efficiencies out of both. That's my personal opinion. Mr. Messier? I think uh, my understanding of the intent here tonight is to look at all of the capital mm -hmm. and capital needs. And obviously, I think Greg mentioned it earlier that we have some budget limitations in here on what we can do. So I think it's fair to look at all of this. Uh, in the process of looking at Munis in a lot of detail and also looking at this, there are some questions about the systems talking to one another and there are some critical decisions to be made on both the Munis side and full documentation management system as to <coughs> where we want to split what we can get to make things work together. I don't think we're ready to make those decisions, but I think it's fair to look at everything. Oh, don't disagree. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to rely on Gene for the next few slides. I mean, I can talk about it too, but he knows more about servers and, and all that th in that language than, than I do. Um, so I'll turn this over to Gene just briefly. Thank you, Liz. Um, this list of uh, servers requirements we got directly from the, um, from the recommendation, the report that we had. And uh, we uh, didn't um, vet it any, any further, but uh, we, uh, these, the reason they're um, <coughs> They're asking, requiring additional hard work because this is an enterprise level um, uh, initiative. It's it's much bigger in scope, not just a departmental initiative. It would it would cover uh, town 
in any other uh, facilities that we are we are connected to digitally. Uh, Police, fire, DPW, um, library. Uh, library, and health and affairs. So we, we the, the, the laser piece uh, uh, enterprise content management system would, would be able to serve their requests at the same time. So it's, it's a capacity issue. And the, um, um, uh, it, I think of laser piece as a document management, but in an enterprise level, it, it also provides other services. This is a workflow server that you can design to for workflow for different um, different processes you may have. And um, uh, that's part of the design and implementation as we move forward. You would need the equipment to, to handle that. Um, uh, and the web server is, um, uh, this is for the the services it provides a lot of are web-based, so you need to need an outward-facing and inward-facing server, uh, web web services, <laughs> and uh, that's addressing it on that third line. Municipality server, that's a um, um, the, um, permitting system, um, workflow system that it, that um, would supplant, replace actually the, the the one we're using now. That's really kind of a rudimentary and uh, not used very much system. Um, also, um, and, and uh, it, it's all, the next item below that is a SQL Server license. That's pretty uh, pretty much uh, uh, fixed by Microsoft. Uh, that's based on a uh, server with, a, with, a, uh, with the server, the top server there, the, the laser piece server um, is a, uh, processor four core server and the minimum um, Microsoft will license is for a four core server even if you went lower which I don't know if you can get these days uh, that's the, the price that the quote we had actually was a few dollars more it's like nine thousand and twenty three dollars um, document scanners um, uh, typically you can, the, the scanners that we have are, are, are flat heads on a uh, on a table someplace. But we, we um, um, were um, proposing to have them <coughs> placed on carts so you could move them around to, a, to different locations as you needed them. And we could also use, um, um, so anyway, the total of that is $48,000. Those are uh, today's estimates, mm -hmm. and then they could change as well. So this hardware is in addition to the document management um, slide that Greg just went over on all the software consulting, training, all of that. So it would be this plus all, all the other stuff. So just similar to Munis where how we had on the bottom of that spreadsheet a figure where we had to buy a new web server and another server and a license and then the cashiering unit. So you're never done. You know, you don't just buy the software. There's always additional costs with it. So this is independent from what Greg was talking about earlier. So you, if, if you do document management, if you decide management, not to go with document management, this goes away. This goes away. It does go away. Let's go. How many servers now are we talking about including this? Now, with everything you've presented so far tonight, well, everything. We'll show you how many we have, and then we'll tell you how many will need to buy additionally. We're gonna we're gonna get to that. Okay. Mr. Ford? I just going back to my original question. So we could still go with the, the original digital document without having this No no no. If we so why was it all coupled together as a as a three hundred and or almost a four hundred thousand dollar we wanted we wanted this when the original presentation was made to the board back um, going into the springtown meeting this component was missing so what we wanted to do is we wanted to isolate this and show this to the board because uh, the board at that time had questioned what the hardware needs were with the project but we, we agree that it could be coupled together okay so here we are uh, mr Cristo of the servers that we have and then we'll talk about the ones that we don't have so um, these are our current servers, and Gene can. Oh, oh here we go. Mm -hmm. um, these are our current servers here at Town Hall. Uh, she just gave them. Um, the top one is our, it's our main one, our newest server. Mm -hmm. It's uh, about uh, five years old. 
can uh, serve us well. It, it's uh, uh, running an older operating system, uh, but it's the one that um, Munis supported at the time. Mm -hmm. We need to upgrade it to um, 